Welcome back to the shooting channel. Going into the new year, a lot of people are now thinking about, shall I buy another gun? I just want a gun, a fun gun. So this time I was gonna to speak to you a little bit about 20 bores. They were invented in on the 19th century. They were invented for a lighter option for somebody that likes game shooting or clay shooting. They were produced as a lighter gun to go off and shoot birds such as partridges or rabbits or something like that, just so it's a lighter gun to walk around in the field. And they became really popular, probably 30 years ago, 40 years ago, for people to go out to start their youngsters off, to start their wife off shooting, and to go out on a rough shoot or to go clay shooting for a bit of fun. And that's how popular they came 20, 30 years ago. They've now changed a little bit because of modern guns, modern cartridges. People have now tend to change to a 12 bore because even though they were, it, 20 bores were invented for less recall, 12 bores now have become lighter, cartridges have become so good that people tend to stick with a 12 rather than a 20. In clay shooting, they've kind of gone a little bit out of fashion. If you go around a clay shoot, especially a competition clay shoot, you barely, barely, barely see any 20 balls anymore. A lot of people tend to buy a 20 ball more for a bit of fun, or they tend to buy a 20 ball for game shooting. So if they've got a 12 ball and they go game shooting and they shoot a lot of game with their 12 ball, some people like to have a little bit more of a challenge and buy a 20 ball. A lot of people have this myth that you can't hit what you can with a 12 ball, you can with a 20 ball. But that is, is rubbish. You can hit 90% of what you can, you can hit with a 20 ball, you can hit with a 12 ball and vice versa. The only difference is 20 balls tend to be a lot lighter and 20 balls tend to be smaller as a whole. And that is why, especially clay shooters don't particularly like 20 balls because the lighter the gun, the more you have to control it and not throw it all over the sky. And that is really the difference, the main look-alike difference between a 20 ball and a 12 ball. If you are shooting a 20 ball and you struggle with it, just think to yourself that, think, what am I actually doing when I go out clay shooting? How am I shooting it? And nine, nine times out of 10, it's because generally people, they're so light if they move it really quickly. I've now picked half a dozen 20 balls, not in any particular order, I'm gonna talk through it and go through and see the difference and see the handling difference. So I pick kind of the big brands out there that people can have a look at. I'm gonna start with the Maruku MK60. This particular one is 30 inch. You can get them in 28 inch. This is fixed choke. Again, you can get them in multi choke. Maruku's, as you know, it's one of my favorite guns when I talk about the 12 bore ones. They are the only off the shelf gun that's won numerous world and European titles. Maruku's tend to be, apart from the MK38, Maruku MK60 tend to be a little bit light, flatter in the comb. This is the grade one version, so it's actually got quite a nice piece of wood for a grade one version. Again, if I mount it up, it tends to be quite light. They're not particularly heavy as you, as you move the gun through. Not got an adjustable trigger, but it's a grade one version. Not got ventilated barrels, it's got a ventilated rib but that is what the Maruku is for. It's the bog, bog standard grade one version. You can get this in grade five as well. This particular model, new is about sort of between 1,500 and 1,800 pounds. You can pick these up for a little bit cheaper between sort of 900 to 1,100 pounds. So that is the Maruku MK60 20 bore. I've then got the Beretta Silver Pigeon 20 bore. This particular one is a bog standard one. It's got a non-adjustable trigger, non-ventilated barrels. This particular one is a multi-choke. It can come in a fixed choke. A Bretta's, again, like the Maruku's, they're a little bit low in the comb. If you're looking for a light gun for your daughter or your wife or something like that, a Sunday house I will add into it, is a lot of people, a lot of people tend to start youngsters off with a 20 ball. These days, actually, you can get lighter, 12 bores and sensible cartridges so you don't necessarily have to start youngsters or ladies off with a 20 ball but if you're looking for a light gun i will say the beretta tends to be probably out of all of them that i've got probably one of the lightest if you like a heavy gun stop you throwing a gun it probably isn't your cup of tea 
but if you've got a little youngster or a lady and you want something a little bit soft or a little bit lighter so when they're holding the gun it's not so heavy this probably is one of your best picks that is the silver pigeon then i've got the the browning grade 5 20 bore again this one is a grade 5 they do do this in a grade 1 the grade 1 again starts at sort of 1500 to 1800 pounds this particular gun starts at a sort of four and a half five grand depending what it is multi-choke non-ventilated barrels um, non-adjustable trigger drop points really nice piece of wood when you're looking at it on the grade five one again a little bit higher in the comb if you're looking for a gun for a 20 ball that's a little bit heavier that you don't want to throw the gun all over the place then the browning is probably slightly better than all the rest of them because it is a little bit heavier you can get it in a 28 inch as well which makes it slightly lighter and handle a little bit back in the hand but that is a probably is a good well balanced gun if you're if you're an uh, uh, an, an adult or a man that's quite strong that's looking for a nice 20 bore for a bit of a fun gun i've then got the better zolly which again we're going down in price this time Bet and Zolli start at about sort of 11, 1200 pounds. Italian, like the Beretta. This particular one has got recoil pad on it. Got a reasonably nice piece of wood on it. Ventilated barrels, this one has got. Ventilated ribs. Multi-choke. Again, this is probably more the weight of the Beretta and the Maruku, so a little bit lighter than the Browning. Uh, but it's not as light as some 20 bores. So again, it, this is slightly more barrel heavy. So if you're looking for something that's a, not quite as heavy as the Browning, but not quite as light as the Maruku and the Beretta, this might be your cup of tea. You're not paying a lot of money and you're getting engraving all the way around. So that is the Betton Zolli 20 bore. And then I've got the Yieldit's SPZ 20 bore. Now, if you're looking for a gun and you want a fun gun, that's not very expensive. They retail at about £600, and I believe these are one of the best off-the-shelf fun guns you can get. They've got a recoil pad, slightly high in the comb, 28-inch, multi-choke, ventilated barrels, ventilated ribs. This is quite light. It's got an alloy action. This one is not heavy like the Browning, but it's £600. So if you're looking for a fun gun and you're thinking to yourself, I just want a gun, I don't want to spend a lot of money, I just want a fun gun, or I want a gun for my son or daughter or wife to use, get this, £600. One of the best value for money guns. Five years warranty, still proof, a really, really great value gun for £600. And then my last gun, and I think we've done a lot on the 12 bore versions of these, my last gun, is the Yield It's Pro 20 bore. Now again, nice piece of wood, sort of grade four piece of wood. Ventilated barrels, ventilated ribs, multi-choke, comes in a lovely case. I would say this one is actually more of the weight of the Maruku and the Beretta. They retail at just under two grand, so about sort of 1,700, 1,800 pounds, depending which one you buy. I would say, again, this is a really, really well thought out gun, 20 bore. Looks very similar to a Parazzi like action or a Boss action. Balances really well in the hand, not too heavy, not too light. So again, a good all round gun if you're looking for a 20 ball to have a bit of fun with. And that is six guns. If you are looking for a 20 ball, please comment below. Please let us know your thoughts. Please let us know your thoughts if 20 balls have had their day and everyone wants a 12, 12 ball. Or please let us know if you love shooting a 20 ball. It's something that there's not a great deal out there on YouTube. There's not a great deal of films about it. So I thought I'd make one just to let you know what it is like to have a 20 ball and what 20 balls are out there on the market, ranging from 600 pounds to five grand. Uh, and it gives you a good, a good level of somewhere where you can look at, look at for, for a 20 ball price range, weight, anything you want. I hope you've enjoyed this programme. Please like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram. Please, please, please join the membership for as little as 2 99 a month. And don't forget, please subscribe. It really helps us to give you content like this. Thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next one.